And let's say that you've got, you're trying to do the jazzy things. You know, some, well, something like this. Really leaning into that expressiveness or whatever you might think is, is what makes it expressive. Um, what I'm going to recommend is that you just try to get rid of all that stuff and try to play... Um, as an exercise, you try to play really simply without affectations. So now you might hear what I'm playing and you might think, well, that still has affectations. Okay, it might still, but as an exercise, I try to get rid of a lot of those, the extra affectations, whether it has to do with vibrato or things that I'm doing with the bow um, or sliding. Because I think that at the core of what we play, there's line and there's rhythm. Um, <clears throat> of course, articulation is a part of that. Expressiveness is a part of that. But I think a lot of us, what happens, and I've been guilty of this and I probably still am, so this has to happen over and over again. We have to do an audit of the way we're making sound, the, the way you know that we're showing up, and kind of bring it back sometimes to its like core, just line and rhythm. Now there are a couple things that are related to this, in my opinion, um, which have to do with with how we approach the music. If we approach it from a very emotional or um, um, physic physical a standpoint then sometimes that can make it harder to do this exercise so let's say that especially at like faster tempos let's take I let's say I take that same same um, rhythm changes <laughs> and let's say that I approach it from a real physically aggressive and emotionally hyped up state so there's a time and a place for that where it's really gonna, it might serve me, but I feel like there's other times where it's really gonna not serve me. So as an exercise, <clears throat> I wanna try to detach, really detach. And this goes along with one of the things that I talk to people about sometimes, which is just about not playing as much. Because if you're on stage, there might be times when you're gonna take chances, or in the practice room too, but I'd like for you to practice just playing less. Just playing simple, less bow, less physical energy, less emotional, emotionally being hyped up. This can be a great exercise. So at this at this fast tempo. Just really leaving tons of space. that space and you're like extra patient and you resist the urge to put your bow down on the string string what happens is eventually it opens up for you and you're you're able to play faster lines <clears throat> but the biggest idea that I want you to take from this <clears throat> is to think when you learned that new style did you take on some kind of affectations in the beginning and have those become habits have those affectations become habits that have seeped into your playing? Are those really the things that you want to say? Or are you sort of using them as kind of like a crutch um, to, to, to try to project energy, to try to project musicality um, from this outside layer rather than from a more deeper inspired place? So my suggestion would be to try to just use this exercise again, something really simple.
to try to to try to at least sometimes to go to this place where you try to remove a lot of the affectations and slow it down and come from a more detached place and a less physically emotionally charged place while you're playing you can always come back to that you can always bring in the emotion bring in the physicality but i really think that you'll get a lot from this exercise let me know if this makes sense let me know what you think